Before going on a vacation, it is very important to check the season of that country first. So, how many seasons are there in South Korea? In this video, we are going to use a website called Visit Korea. Now, in this website, you can get a lot of information about the seasons in South Korea and make your planning trip a lot more easier. And no, this video is not sponsored by Visit Korea. I just think that this website is very easy to use and it is also very useful for a lot of people out there. Now grab your laptop and notebook and let's use this web together. So in each of the season, we're going to focus on when will it occur, the beautiful places, festivals, and etc. Next, we're going to look at which season this Malaysians like most. And lastly, I'm going to answer some questions from my friends regarding the seasons in South Korea. Bom. Now spring occurs during March until May. And I think I know why a lot of people like spring is because there's a lot of flowers blooming in that season. Now first of all, to go to this website, just type visit Korea or just Click the link that I already put at the description box below and just click at the first one you see. So first of all, the most easiest thing to do is just use the search button and so the first season we're going to dive at is spring, so just type spring. So back then when I was telling you guys that there's a lot of flowers blooming, so in this website, they will tell you when and where will the flower bloom. So over here you have cherry blossom, forest, and also as azalea flower forecast and they will tell you the date and where it will bloom at and there's also like little information up here so this is very easy for you guys because you can already plan your trip for example i want to see cherry blossoms blooming and i just want to go around seoul so i already got the date here which is april 2nd next we're going to look at the beautiful places during the springtime Okay, so over here they have a bucket list for you, like the best springtime destinations in Korea. And yeah, there's a lot. As you can see from the top of the list till the bottom, they give you a lot of suggestions with little information because we all want to know more about this place and also the address of the place, which is, you know, very informative. For me, because I told you guys I just want to go roam around Seoul, so I think I'm going to choose the Namsan Park. So I already got a place that I want to visit there as well. Now for the festivals. So if you guys watch a lot of Korean shows, I think you guys know that there's a lot of festivals happening during the springtime. So if you guys want to, you know, attend the festival as well, you can also use this website. So here there's a guide to spring festivals from March till May which is the spring season. And again they also have the period of the festival along with the venue and also some information. However due to corona right now, a lot of these festivals have been cancelled or changed into virtual festivals. Maybe I would choose the Yeongdung Kyo Yodo Spring Flower Festival and maybe the Yeongdung Ho Lotus Lantern Festival. And there you go, just by using this website, we already know that we're going to South Korea to experience the springtime, mainly around 2nd April. And then we're going to the Namsan Park Circuit Road to check the blossoming cherry blossoms. And we might attend these two festivals right here around Seoul. So you can already see how easy it is to use this website to plan your trip and also get a lot of information about the seasons in South Korea. Yorum. Now summer in South Korea mainly happens during June until August. Which is right now because right now is August and South Korea right now is in their summer season. And I also watch a lot of Korean YouTubers even they cannot stand the heat of summer over there and most of them just like to spend their time in their house where they can you know use the air conditioner and feel relaxed and cool. So I think some of you may ask does South Korea have a like, beautiful beach here like in Malaysia? And the answer to that is they do. So over here you can see the best summer beach destinations and there's quite a lot so as you can see the sand is very white beautiful clean 
and also the water is very pretty too and also in here they have like a few categories for example the beaches in Busan so if you don't know Busan is like at the bottom part of South Korea so for me I would love to go to all of these beaches here because you know I like watching the sea play with the sand and also back then I lived beside the beach so every day I can always see the sand, the beautiful waves of the sea. I think this one is the most beautiful animal beach. Yeah, this one looks beautiful. And you can also read more about Anmok Beach if you click right here. It will transport you to another tab. Yeah, and you can read and also see the pictures. Oh, and there's also a map. Oh, that's great. Formation, tourist sites, accommodation, restaurants, shopping, transportation. There's no transportation. So you can see that this website is very helpful for you guys. So for the summer foods, I think you guys can watch Kak Rin's video. Her channel name is Rin TBH, which means Rin to be honest. So Kak Rin is also a vlogger in South Korea because she is currently studying there. And she has a lot of video about going to many places and also enjoy a lot of foods over there. And in this video, it's basically her trying out different foods that is very suitable for the summer season there. So I recommend you guys to watch it out and for the Muslim viewers, it is also easy for us because we can also taste, you know, these green foods which are halal. So for the festivals, they also have a list of summer festivals there. For example, my festival and also this Bonghua Sweet Fish Festival. Okay, that's weird. Why are they all... Is it a pool? Oh, they're catching fishes. Let me zoom. Yes. I think they are catching the fish. Okay, let's see what they wrote here. So it's happening from August 1st till 9th. Bonghua Sweet Fish Festival is held in the pure waters of Nasongchon Stream in Bonghua Gun. Festival focuses on sweet fish, small freshwater fish that have light watermelon scent. Okay, I think I can imagine how the fish is smelling right now. So the main programs are catching sweet fish with a net or with just one's bare hands and sweet fish related exhibits. So I think this will be very fun <laughs> for me to try. Guys, the next season is autumn. So autumn occurs during September until November. And for me, I think autumn is like the most beautiful season out there because all the leaves are turning red, orange, brown and they're all falling on the ground. And I can still remember from my trip to Japan that autumn season is very beautiful and I think it will be very suitable for you guys that love to take the pictures of the trees and also the background color of the trees like that. So I just searched up places around Seoul that is very suitable to go to during the autumn season. So as you can see here like the picture of the trees. Yeah, this tree is turning red, orange, yellow, it's very beautiful. For me, I think I would prefer to go to Nami Island during the autumn season because if you know that Nami Island have this beautiful trees lining up and then you can stand in the middle of the trees, there's a beautiful background for you there. And also there's a lot of festivals too during the autumn season like this. Andong Mass Dance Festival and if you scroll down there's a bunch of festivals that you guys can go and attend to. For me, I would love to go to the Andong Mass Dance Festival as you guys can see down here. You guys can learn more about the culture stuff. Go. So lastly, the season that I went to South Korea is the winter season. Now, in this website, I think winter is considered as very special because they already have a special section for the winter of Korea. So in here you have winter of Korea, the Ski Korea Festival, Korea's winter festivals, preparation, food, and also transportation. So I also wonder why they didn't make like, you know, a special section too for their spring, summer, and autumn season. So if you want to go to Korea during the winter, this is very easy because they put all of it here already. And yes, during the winter season, it is very, 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 very cold. For example, when I went to Nami Island, 
my feet were like super frozen and it was so painful so so i put some hot packs in my shoes so that my feet will be warm so i think in south korea when it is the winter season a lot of them will go to the ski resort or ski places and also back then i went to vivaldi ski resort now it is a very fun place over there they also have a hotel for you to stay in if you want to play ski a lot more but for me I think I just spend the whole morning until afternoon I think over there so you can choose to go skiing or you can ride the cable car to go to the top of the hill or mountain now over there there's a lot of games there's a lot of activities that you guys can do for example for me I went to experience this light thing which is very fun and also went skiing you know this skiing thing over here okay i posted this skiing thing in my instagram before but i archived it right now so it is called Orem Solmejang or Solmejagi this is a traditional korean sledge that is used on frozen river or ponds it uses a short sledge and two sticks with spikes to move on the ice there are many ways to sit on this because it is small I prefer to sit while crossing my leg. It is so fun to play, so that's why I wrote. So for the food, as I told you before, you can just click at the food and they will recommend you like foods that are very suitable for you to eat and taste during the winter season for example instant noodle and then rice cake soup fish cake soup basically it is all about the soup because you know hot soups during the winter season for me when i was back there at korea i really enjoyed eating ramyeon I went to eat at Yang Pang Chicken Restaurant and over there there's also halal chicken for you to eat. We ordered this seafood ramyeon and this original chicken and also the spicy chicken and I think that is the very suitable for you to try during the winter season. So for the festival as you can see here, it involves a lot of, you know, with fishing. Building snowman, where is this? Tabesca snow. And there's also a lot of festivals during the winter season guys so we can see that in each season there will be special festivals held during those seasons oh there's also a website for you guys to go to if you like to join this festival and also a telephone number oh this is the one that i told you this key one you know this is very fun i miss this i miss sitting on that wooden thing and you know just use, just use those sticks to move around now mainly because during the winter season all of the river are all iced up so many of them do these type of festivals like catching fish and also skiing so you guys can watch the boys the 100 because in that two episodes episode 17 until episode 18 that's like the basic situation of the activities that they do during the winter season So during the summer season, I think you guys can just wear an outfit like this because you know it's hot. For autumn, I think you guys can just wear an outer layer. For example, like this one, yeah, you guys can just wear like one outer layer like this or maybe a jacket like that because autumn and spring, I think it's going, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. But for the winter season, it's going to be a bit tricky because it is super super cold out there. Okay, this first layer is you know, quite normal. Oh my god, I've grown. It's coming small. So, I really like this and then I zip it. Or not. Sometimes I just wear it open like this because I'm too lazy to zip it. And then, you have this one right here. It's the second layer. Oh my gosh. Finesta. Okay, second layer. Oh, you know, I think I've grown so much because they're all super tight right now. I'm not going to do it. Okay, and this is like the last one. So, this is how much layer I wore. Okay, I can't anymore. I can't. <laughs> I can't anymore. No, it's okay. It's really big. I can't reach. Okay, I don't know how I look like right now, but I, yeah. 
Let's start. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. 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 So now what? But if I'm just walking on the street, I would just wear it until this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I would open the zip so it would look like this. Or even look like this sometimes. So, yeah, so this is what you usually wear during the winter season out there. Yeah, so continue back while I'm going to clean all of this mess. Wow guys, so we did it! We have learned all of the four seasons in South Korea along with its festivals and also beautiful destinations when will it occur and also some delicious foods during that season. So right now is the moment to see which season does Malaysians like most or mostly my friends because I let them vote. Okay, so we will go from number 4 until 1. So the last place goes to the summer season. I think we can already predict that summer will place last because in Malaysia itself, it is super hot every day. Basically, Malaysia is like summer 24-7. But there will be another video talking on the weather or seasons in Malaysia. So do subscribe and click the notification bell for further notice. So third is the autumn season. Now which leaves us to spring or winter. You guys think spring or winter will win? It's spring. Many of them like to go to see the beautiful flowers blooming. Like, I can relate to I really really want to see the cherry blossoms. But I also like winter because it is so cold and I haven't experienced my first snow yet. Now the final part of this video is answering your question. So let's see question number one. When is the best time to go to South Korea? So if you ask me, I think it's according to your preferences. Maybe you can go check back the website and see which season that have the most interesting stuff that you can do or attempt to. For example, I think I like the winter season because I'm waiting for my first snow. And also there's a lot of fun activities that you guys can do at Vivaldi Part 2. And and you know you can enjoy other festivals as well and it all depends on you actually. So you guys can go to visit Korea to know more about which season suits you the best. The second question is does Korean change their skincare routine in every season? So if you see beauty youtubers, Korean vloggers, most of them change their skincare according to the season because of the change of the weather temperature and the dryness of the air. So for example in Malaysia we know that it's hot and it's humid so mainly for me because I'm an oily skin type so I just wear skincare products that are light on my face which can be absorbed easily onto my face. However for the winter season because the air is drier and I also experience myself even me as an oily skin, my skin will get very 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 dry. So you need to use like a more heavyweight product which means product is thick. So for example, you can apply aloe vera gel and then use a moisturizer so that your face will be fully hydrated and also moisturized at the same time. Question number 3. Why do they believe couple that see the first no will be happy ever after? Now this question too, I also never know before so I go search on the website and it is just like their beliefs. And also a fun information that I got is that they said that if you watch the show Goblin, in that show Goblin at the end of 2016, they made the first snow very popular all across Asia. So let me read for you guys. It's a saying that if you confess to someone or being with someone during the first snowfall, you guys will stay together for a long time. Alright guys, so that is all for today's video and I hope that you guys can get a lot of information about the four seasons in South Korea. And I hope after Corona ends, maybe you guys can go to visit Korea and also like make your own trip on where to go and which season you think is most suitable for you guys. And don't forget to like, subscribe and also share this video to someone you might think needs help in planning their trip to South Korea. Thanks for watching!